Well, I think the uh, idea has always been that the riverfront would have uh, a variety of dimensions to it, and entertainment is clearly one of those dimensions. Uh, so we've had the theater company, we've had, we've had a number of smaller venues to go to, but we've never had anybody with this kind of horsepower come down here. We can anticipate somewhere between seven and 800,000 people. That's a lot of people coming down a riverfront. And we really fulfill the promise of uh, a dinner and a show because there, our restaurants are just two blocks away or a block and a half away in some cases. So park once, enjoy this beautiful riverfront, go for a walk, do a bunch of different things. So that's, that's very, very important to us. It's a much needed amenity for the city and it just shows our growth, the confidence that people have. You're talking about a large investment to build a facility like this, and people are going to have fun. Uh, you got the Children's Museum, we have the restaurants, we soon will have a, a hotel. Uh, there will be more housing down here. So you're going to have a real interesting part of the city, and it connects with downtown, it connects with the neighborhoods, and that's what how you redevelop cities is confidence that people place in your community. We had the uh, uh, groundbreaking and this uh, 15 or 16 year old girl comes up to me and introduces herself to me and says she's my first employee. And, uh, and sure enough, we hired her and she's somewhere around here getting the popcorn ready. The kids and the families in Browntown, the dedication and the love that they have for this city and for the riverfront uh, is very impressive and in fact stunning. Thank you very much for your support and please uh, join us this afternoon. All the movies that you buy tickets for this afternoon, the proceeds go to the MS Society and to the Children's Museum. And then we kick it off for real tonight uh, with The Hobbit at midnight. Thanks to everyone. All right.